We can supply uh, water to land-based units, so um, if there's a, a failure in the uh, water main system due to an earthquake, we can um, supply water to bunker trucks. And let that water flow. The newest addition to Victoria's firefighting resources is on the water, on display, and ready for action. A high-speed fireboat revved up and all ready for service. That story, all of your island news is just ahead. Victoria has a new high-speed fireboat, and it's all ready for service. It arrived in Victoria in February and was officially unveiled today. The multi-use vessel has some impressive features, including the ability to pump thousands of liters of water. The boat, which cost more than a half a million dollars, is a welcome addition to the city's firefighting resources. Hey, Channel's Eric Thompson's just back from a tour on board Fireboat One, and he joins us now with more. Eric. Hudson, it was quite a tour this afternoon. We'll show you that in just a moment. 26 firefighters are trained to operate this vessel. It requires a minimum crew of three. And the Victoria Fire Department says, although it is happy to have the resource, it's one they hope they don't have to use. It's an impressive sight, and so are its capabilities. Victoria's new 34-foot high-speed fireboat, dubbed Fireboat One, can do a lot more than just fight fires. In addition to pumping water more than 200 feet in the air, this workhorse can also tow disabled vessels, serve as a diving platform, and assist with the containment of spills. When it's operating, I think that's when you really, really are impressed. Victoria Fire Chief Doug Angrove says Fireboat One is a vital piece of equipment because of its versatility. If we were to suffer an earthquake such as they're experiencing in China and we lose our water supply in the downtown area, we can pump to shore with this vessel. We can supply uh, water to land-based units, so um, if there's a, a failure in the uh, water main system due to an earthquake, we can um, supply water to the bumper trucks. Master mechanic Corey Mears says Fireboat One performs like a giant jet ski. It can operate in less than two feet of water and offers more functionality than the city's previous fireboat. The vessel we had before was a full displacement hull. It's not as maneuverable as, as this one and it was slow. It did about 10 knots, whereas the speed of this one is probably top end is 37 knots. That's more than 60 kilometers per hour. We asked the crew to take fireboat one into open waters to show us what the two 380 horsepower engines can do. This vessel has the capability of pumping about 2,000 gallons of water every minute. And when it's pumping water, the motors, which are twin Cummins diesel, one of them will run the water, the other will keep the vessel in place. We needed something 24-7 where the crews of any hull could respond and jump on board and go within three or four minutes. Retired Battalion Chief Ted Alexis helped raise more than $100,000 to pay for the boat, thanks to the generosity of several individuals, groups and businesses, including Thrifty Foods. We felt that uh, it's something that we wanted to get involved with, so we, uh, we made a commitment early on in the process. Fireboat One arrived in the capital in February. Over the past month, 26 firefighters have been training to operate it. The vessel is a welcome sight in the harbour and is expected to serve the area for the next 25 years. Hudson, the Victoria Fire Department is asking Victoria school students between the ages of four and six to help name this vessel. The operational name is Fireboat One. They're asking young people to keep in mind the city's 150-year history with the fire department and drop off your name and your description of why you came up with that name at Victoria City Hall. All right, we'll wait and find out uh, what the winning name is. Eric, thank you. That You're was welcome. fascinating.